What is going on YouTube? This is Rodney with Naftastic EDC. It's a new name, of course, I'm sure. I know that some of you have noticed. Um, I decided to do a change up for a couple reasons. Won't go into full detail, but wanted to do some change. I'm gonna try to do some changing on the channel and a few of the ways I do things and get more involved and get more dedicated. I have just gone over the 600 mark um, I'm very thankful so much and be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber while you're here and hit that like button that thumbs down thumbs up doesn't matter get the algorithm going to where my videos can get out and get seen um, I'm gonna try to give some good content and uh, like really replying back to you guys when you leave comments in the section and let you know you watched and if you have questions, you know, we can have feedback and have some interaction with each other. I really look forward to that. And I'm already doing that with a lot of you. And I really enjoy that. I know sometimes I can't get back to you real soon. Sometimes the way my schedule is, I make a video and I don't have time to get back right on it and reply. I will try to reply to everyone. Sometimes I miss some. Sometimes I don't get the notification. So please forgive me. I really enjoy talking to you. And I enjoy making these videos. So tonight real quick it's uh, like I said this is Rodney with my new name my new name is Naftastic EDC you know I'm because I love fantastic knives I love knives so we're gonna call it Naftastic and uh, that's I just thought it sounded catchy and I liked it and Garacor was a little odd I had originally picked the name Garacor um, as doing some other things because of it's partially spelled with my last name and blended with something else and rhymes with something else. So there was some reasoning and some reckoning that I went with that name. And this channel never really went that direction. It's mainly gone primarily knives and some EDC. So I'm trying to, that's one of the reasons I changed the name. And I thought about it. I thought of a bunch of different names and I got a couple more still out there so you know, give me some feedback let me know what you think you know say yeah it's I like it it sucks it's a copycat it's a it's whatever it is I want feedback but I like it you know it's it's different it's it's also it goes along with the thought process of, of knives and the knife community so that's why I decided to go with Naftastic EDC and talking about EDC that's what I have in this unboxing for you right here or unpackaging it's not really a box there is some boxes in here and what we're going to open up today with is the Tucson TS191 now I've had this a short period and I've been carrying it in pocket and this is just a lovely knife guys my lighting is here I'm still working on getting a dedicated camera possibly and much better lighting and I'm hoping let me know if you can hear me okay um, I'm, I'm trying I'm gonna try to give some you know I give some uh, videos from work I'm gonna give videos from here at home at the desk uh, walking around in the yard or through the woods I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of everything so you can see uh, what I got going on but uh, my lighting here is sort of dim I don't have the way the shadows work it's not the best but this is the Tucson TS191 I need to get a ring light for my my setup I believe and I, I think that would work but haven't got that yet I just got this new setup today where I have this phone above the desk because um, I do record from my daily my, my, my daily carry phone and uh so I, I'd like to be able to, I had a setup to where you, you see me doing it a couple different ways. This gives me a better view of what's going on behind the camera so I can see when I'm videoing. And it allows me to have access to my table and have a good view and be able to look at the knives better so I can see what you're seeing. Because I think that's important when you're filming these videos. I want to be able to see what you're seeing as I'm recording it. And I don't have a fancy setup to where I'm sending the feedback to a monitor um, and I'm watching the monitor because I'd be distracted watching the monitor and not seeing what I'm doing in front of the camera. Anyway, that's enough about all that. What we have here again is a unboxing, unpackaging of a couple EDC items. And again, this is the Tucson TS191. Just a great, great Tucson. I 
freaking love this thing. It is an S90V. It has got a carbon fiber and highly sculpted and milled titanium. Fully enclosed. I really like that look. Sort of going for an integral theme, I guess. Nicely milled, 3D milled pocket clip. Cutout relief is on the exterior of the knife. Hardened inserts. I'm pretty sure this has the D-shaped pivot collars on them. They most started doing that with most of Tucson's. This is running on Barron's. Hardened insert. And I'm pretty sure this is a Mazwan Mokhtar design. And he did a fantastic job. I sort of love this upswept. I reckon you would call it a tra trailing point blade. And this nice thumb ramp. It is just great grip on every way is perfect I definitely still need to get a little bit farther away I believe with the camera so you can really see the knife but anyway I'm rambling on again I gotta get better at doing these videos what we have here is a package with you guessed it. Look at there. <laughs> but this is not knives. It is Tucson products. But it is not knives. It is EDC items. So, now I know what's in here, but I don't know which one is in which box. So, See, they're both about the same weight. I'm thinking this one's a little bit heavier one. So we'll go with the heavy one first because I think this is a signaling device. Nope. I was wrong. This is the heavier one. This is a writing utensil. Now... I do not have the number on this. I will try to pull up the number and put it in the description box. This is done in a purple. I don't know if the colors are coming out on the screen. In a bluish purple. I reckon you call that more, more blue. Or maybe some blurple. This is the Tucson Pioneer Design. Let's see, what does that say? Pioneer EDC design. This is full titanium and sort of a goldish bronze. And it has a nice point with a glass breaker on it. And I believe this is a screw. Yes, it is. Oh, that is fluid. Wow. It's even been dipped in a in a get that focused up for you it's got this the tip on it that all the pins had to keep them from drying out until you get them it's o-ring seal waterproof this thing is just exquisite now i want you to notice something when i put this back together when it's screwed together the precision fit you know this had to be timed that it is perfectly squared and seamed when it's put back together. It has this nice interior scalloping with these ridges on it. I think that is really nice. This makes about my fourth or fifth Tucson pin. This is this is right on up there. I, I have one that's a flashlight slash pin um, and it's got a cool factor to it it's got all kinds of milled holes and contours and pockets and shapes in it that's pretty awesome and from a machinist standpoint me being a machinist i think i like it a little bit more than this one but this one might be second on the list and you have to forgive me i'm really tired i'm i'm really really wanting to try to sighten this up for everybody and make the channel more fun um i'm working on some intro stuff i don't know if it'll be on this video or not if it is It'll be at the intro. 
um, with some tunes, uh, a little intro music, some rock uh, that a friend of mine did for me. I'm trying to get that. So, you know, not to be like everybody else, but to give you some entertainment factor besides just hearing me talk and complain or be funny or, or show you stuff. So, really, that's what this channel is. This is show and tell for me to show you things that I'm interested in. In the event you're looking to purchase something or some, you got something on your radar and you've never seen it, and I possibly have it, you know, you can go through my library selection of videos and say, hey, this is the guy that's only got, this is the only one on eBay. I, I have a knife or two like that on that's on YouTube. So I like to be able, I know I've looked up products before and, and can't find any information on it really besides pictures. And it's so great to be able to go on YouTube and find the item and look at it and, and you know listen to somebody talk about it and their input and thought process on it. And then if you have questions, you can shoot out to them and you know, they reply back to you and let you know what they think of it or whatever. You know, you, you can start an interaction and that's happened with me with guys on some of the videos I've done in the past. But it's just a great tool. YouTube is a great tool. There's also a lot of censorship going on on, on YouTube right now that I don't really agree with, but that's a totally different area and I will not go there. But anyway, well, I reckon I did, right? I just did. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's been a long week, y'all. I will look up this model number in the uh, system and uh, put it in the description. This is the Tucson Pioneer EDC design pen. I believe this is a night morning design. All right. And in box number two, the lighter of the two. And let, oh, this, let's, for kicks and giggles, let's see. I said this one was heavier, right? So let's do the weights. I'll put the boxes here out of the way. On this pen, let's see if we can get the scale there to read so you can see it. I don't know if you can be able to see it. Uh, it is 4.42.9 grams. Can you see? Oh, let me turn this light off to take some of that shadow away. Yeah, I got to work on my lighting. Can you see that? 4.3, 42.3, 42 42.9, 43 grams. And it is 1.51 ounces. Yep, 1.51 ounces. So it's got some heft to it for a pen. Okay, let's put that back to the side. Yeah, this is the first video I've set up um, since I've done this new table set up and camera angle and so forth. So I got to work on a few things and get some lighting better. And like I said, I'm working on things. Please forgive me. Give me ideas. You know, fuss at me, whatever. It's all good in the neighborhood. Yeah, this is definitely lighter. This is a signaling device. When I say signaling device, when you can't scream but so loud or whatever, and you need to get somebody's attention out of the woods, now I'm not, I'm not going to do this because I'm on the east. I'm not going to sound it off for you right now. That's pretty cool. I like. I'm liking it already. It looks sort of like a spaceship from Star Wars. Um. It's like, it's just after midnight here on the East Coast, so my family's asleep, and I'm sure I'm keeping them awake, because they're not too far from where I'm at right now, but anyway, because I don't have a gigantic house and a mansion. I don't live in a mansion, y'all. I live in a small little house. But anyway, of course y'all knew that, right? This is a whistle. It's a three-stage whistle. Now, I'm guessing you, let's see, pretty sure you blow through here, and the sound exits through here. I don't know what it sounds like. This, yeah, that was, I'm sure it is very loud. There is, um, I reckon you could put a small some mini paracord through here and hang it on something 
or just throw it in your pocket. This is also super light. This is like probably a half ounce. Let's see how close I am. 0.73 ounce. Twenty point seven grams. Yeah, definitely lighter. So hey, at least I knew it was lighter, right? <laughs> uh, um, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day, y'all. I've, I've been sitting here in my little area. It's a combination of where my daughter does some of her homework and stuff, and. A small catch-all storage area and my desk my knife stuff where I do my videos and sharpening and modding and stuff when I'm at home and I've been trying to get this camera set up right because my the desk was in another part of the house in the living room and it was hard people were talking people coming in and out of the house TV was going it was hard for me to get videos done when I wanted to get them done so now I can go into this room and shut the door and have a little bit more privacy and not be distracted because I cannot be distracted when I'm doing a video. Somebody's walking behind me and talking. It throws me off totally. And that's just the way I'm wired as far as trying to film and do videos. Now I do fine at work. Somebody talking to me while I'm working. But for some reason when I'm trying to video, it, it, I found out that it doesn't work. But uh, anyway, yeah. Again, I'm rambling. I wanted to show y'all these things. This is the, I will put the model number of this also and the designer in the description. I'm gonna to try to add some music to the beginning. If, if not on this one, on a video coming soon. Um, I am going to do a 700 subscriber giveaway, okay? This is an announcement for a 700 subscriber giveaway i know it's an odd one it's not 500 it's not i did a 351 i was thinking about doing a six or six or something um it's not a 750 it's not a thousand I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a thousand too but for right now i'm going to do a 700 subscriber and i believe because my channel will probably be predominantly two sons as of now right now it's probably more two sons than anything I will probably be giving a Tucson away. With that being said, it will not be this one. <laughs> but uh, this one I got, and while well, it's a great knife, it's a great design, I don't like it a whole lot um, because it's not really a one-handed knife. This is a two-hander. And if I have a two-hander, I want a small traditional slip traditional type slip joint or maybe a cold steel or something like that so this is brand new still in the oily package has the extra little balls that come with it from Tucson um, the little needle bat little ball bearings this is the Tucson TS 234 Kodiak and this thing is pristine it is beautiful you can I don't know it's it's just I have not took this apart I'm sure I can maybe get the action a little better but it is it's, it's stiff and I, I really like it but it is a handful of a knife and I don't know if I'd ever really use that finger hole to stick my finger through there and the the lock up unless you really flick it open the lockup is not where it needs to be so if you just just open it the lockup is not good and I don't really like that either um, but I reckon when you're opening it two-handed you're really bringing it open you shouldn't have a problem with it but you can see lockup is about 20% maybe 15 20% 20% um, but yeah this is for sale this will be for sale. If anybody who sees this is interested, let me know. Um, PayPal, friends and family. Uh, I need to look online. I'm guessing 
about 130 shipped I'm not sure what they're going for I think I've seen them go for more go for less um, but I'd, I'd say about 130 shipped um, that 130 include in shipping included uh, PayPal friends and family so if anybody's interested in this let me know so I can fund another Tucson or another knife I'm looking at a couple different models right now um, and I do have two on the way but they're taking forever to get here because China's having their new year right now and the shipping system is shut down which I was really surprised to get the pin and the whistle but anyway that's all I have for you today I was getting ready to tell you my old name <laughs> this is Rodney with Naftastic EDC and uh hope y'all like the new name i like it it's catchy it's different and i don't know y'all have a great one remember keep that edge right keep that edge right be careful out there god bless